Hey everybody, uh, graphing uh, simple rational functions. This is an integrated math 3 lesson, uh, lesson 8-1. Okay, so uh, I think we're going to spend a couple of days on this. The, our school suggests one day, but I don't know. I, I just can't do one day. Anyway, so how are the graphs of uh, f of x, which is a, remember this is our vertical movement right here, uh, and rational, rational usually means a fraction. So here's our fraction right here, 1 over x minus h. Do you remember hk? Okay, in the last lesson and the, and the lesson before that. Uh, and f of x um, uh, equals uh, 1 over x minus h. Now look right here, this is a 1 over b. This was our, our horizontal movement. Um, our b was our horizontal movement. This one's kind of like a, a reciprocal trick right here. So plus k related to the graph of 1 over uh, x right here. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and graph that uh, 1 over x right here. Okay, so here we go. Let's graph, um, and this is going to be our parent function right here, f of x equals 1 over x. All right, so let's go ahead and set up a table right here. Okay, I'm going to give my students a few moments to set that up right here. So I first started doing these guys right here. I made just, just this table right here, and so here's negative 2, negative 1, negative 1 half, and... And look, we're missing zero right here. We'll talk about that in a second, okay? And then uh, one half, and then one, and then two. And then, uh, so I, I started thinking about, what about some more numbers? So I plugged in negative five, negative four. Let's try negative one-fourth. We could have tried negative one-fifth, but anyways, we're going we're gonna to plug all these x values in for this guy right here, okay? All right, so when we plug in negative two right here, so we get 1 over negative 2, which is negative a half. Okay, same over here when we plug in positive 2. So we get 1 over 2. This is going to be 1 over negative 1 fifth. This will be 1 over 4, 1 over 5, and so on right there, okay? So um, uh, the reason why we don't plug in x equals 0 is because we can't have 0 in the denominator. If you, if you uh, plugged in your calculator any number and you hit divided by 0, it would say error because it's actually infinity, and infinity is an undefined number right there. So any number over zero is undefined right there. That's why we don't do zero. So here's x equals zero right here. So this line x equals zero, the graph cannot cross because um, now we can't have zero in the, in the denominator, okay? All right, so here we go. So when we plug in x equals negative two, this becomes one over negative two or negative one half. Okay, and so this becomes positive one-half. Okay, this is negative one-fifth. This is negative one-fourth, and I actually, uh, I made my box too small, so I just made negative one-fourth, negative 0.25. Okay, and then the same here. This is positive 0.25, and here's 1 fifth. I just made these boxes bigger. All right, let's graph these guys. So negative 2, negative 1 half. So we'd go to the left, 2, down a half. So right about there. Okay, and then positive 2, positive a half would be to the right to up a half right there. Okay, negative five, negative one fifth would be way over here, and negative a fifth, think about, here's negative one right here, so negative a fifth is gonna be like right there, and here negative a fourth will be a little bit lower, and so on. Over here would be uh, five comma positive a fifth. Here would be four comma positive a fourth, just a little bit higher, okay? So let's graph those guys, okay? All right, and you're thinking, well, what's that do? Well, well let's do some more, you guys. Let's do negative one, okay? One over negative one, okay? And then one over positive one, one over positive one. That's going to give us um, uh, one over negative one, negative one, and one over positive one is positive one. So let's go negative one, negative one, we're going to put a point right here, and then we'll go positive one, positive one, we're going to put a point right there, okay? All right, let's keep going, you guys. Okay, so so this one over x is just the reciprocal of x. So when we put in a fraction, we just reciprocate the fraction, okay? So one over negative a half is the same as uh, negative two. We reciprocate that fraction, Okay, so 1 over positive a half is 2. 1 over negative 1 fourth is 4, and 1 over positive 1 fourth is uh, 4. Okay, did I say 4 there? That's negative 4. So let's, let's go uh, to the left a half down 2. So this will go to the left a half down 2. Okay, and if we go to the right a half up 2, 
Okay, so to the right, one half, up two, so it's going right there. Let's do the fourth part. Or to the right, one fourth, up a fourth. So here's a half, so here's a fourth. So here, about right there, it's going to go way up here. Okay, same over here. Here's negative a half, and this would be negative two, and then negative one fourth would be right about there, and then negative four, we're going to put them right about there. Okay, all right, so there's our graph right there. It kind of makes that kind of graph right there. Okay, so um, uh, let's state the domain of this. Okay, what's the domain? How much does this graph go to the left and to the right? Well, it looks like it goes to the left forever, and it looks like it goes to the right forever, except there's one exception right here. Um, uh, X can't be zero. So there's several ways we can say it. As an inequality, we can say X is greater than zero or X is less than zero, okay? Or we can say it uh, in set notation. Set notation would be the set of X such that X doesn't equal zero. That just means it equals everything else except zero, okay? And then finally, uh, interval notation. Okay, we haven't seen this symbol yet. I'll talk about that in just a second. So, uh, in interval notation, the, the domain goes from the left, it goes from negative infinity all the way up to zero, and we don't include zero because it can't include zero because of this rule right here. Okay, so negative infinity to zero, so these have both parentheses, and infinity and negative infinity always have parentheses right here. Okay, and then, uh, and then again it picks up from zero and goes to positive infinity. And this little symbol means union symbol. It just means in union with. So, so it just means uh, it's this graph in union with this graph right here. Okay, I'm going to be okay if we just say this guy right here, okay? X doesn't equal zero, okay? And then the range is up and down. So it goes up forever, it goes down forever, except it never crosses this line, okay? It gets um, uh, infinitely close to this line, and it's actually called an asthmatote, and this is called an asthmatote also, um, and this uh, lesson doesn't talk about asthmatotes. I don't know if this book does. I'm sure it does, but just not yet. Okay, so um, uh, the range is a y answer. So y is greater than zero or y is less than zero. Um, uh, and that's the answer we're going to choose all the time. Y doesn't equal zero. And then interval notation from negative infinity up to zero and union with from from zero up to infinity. So here's negative infinity and it approaches zero right here. The Y movement is up and down and then uh, in union with and then it starts at zero and then it goes up to positive infinity. Okay, and it never does touch infinity. It never does touch zero. That's why we have these these parentheses instead of the brackets, okay? I am good with this, okay? I don't know if your teacher is, but anyways, uh, it's just a review of stuff. All right, so so y equals f of x always, and then so if we have it equals uh, 1 over x, we're going to call that our parent graph for our simple rational functions, okay? And then so it's the same as y equals um, 1 over x minus 0 plus 0. This is going to be our hk right there, okay? This is the equivalent graph of this. So this is in form of HK. So we're going to move it to the left and to the right. Okay, which is the same as, okay, now this is going to be for a vertical stretch. Remember, this is our A number here. So whatever this does, instead of going over 1, up 1, we're going to go over 1, up whatever this number is. In, in this case, it's 1. Okay, and then it's also the same as uh, this right here, 1 over B. Okay, B is our our horizontal stretches. All right, I have an example of both of those. Okay, so so our reference points when we're doing this HK and the A stuff and the B stuff, okay, this is our uh, vertical stretch. This number here, remember, it's one over this number, so it's a reciprocal. But anyways, this number in the bottom is our horizontal stretch right here. Okay, so um, uh, we're gonna reference uh, uh, this uh, zero, zero right here. That's where our asthmatotes are right there. That's our, our HK movement right there, okay? So, um, uh, and then one comma one, which is this point right here, and negative one, negative one is going to be uh, vertically moved by HK right there, okay? 
and then we'll talk about that. These two examples, I think, will make sense. So graph each and state all the characteristics, okay? All right, so that big three right there is a vertical um, stretch right there, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and always graph um, the parent graph right there. There's the parent graph, this side and this side. I should have put an arrow up there, and I didn't think about that till about three slides later, and it's just harder for me to go backwards and copy and paste, but but both of these together is f of x equals 1 over x right there. Okay, all right, so here's hk. So that's going to move this 0, 0 to the right one up 2. Okay, so there's our new hk. So there's our new, new origin basically right there. And we do the exact same math, except that just moves our origin. Okay, all right. And then here with our original, the purple guy, when we went over one, up one, Okay, here's going to be our new origin right here. Instead of going over 1, up 1, we're going to go over 1, up this number right here. Okay, so that's what that stuff, uh, stuff says. The vertical stretch is 3. So from the new origin, which is this guy right here, okay, now your book gives some fancy equations to get to this right there. Look, just pretend like that's the new 0, 0. Okay, and uh, our parent graph, the purple guy, uh, the purple guy from this point right here goes over 1, up 1. It goes over 1, down 1. Okay, so the vertical part, which is the up and down movement, is this. So we'll still go over 1, but we go up and down 3. Okay, so from here, over 1, up 3, over 1, down 3. Okay, and these are called our asymptotes right here. So our graph just goes you know, through that point and it asymptotically goes towards the asymptotes right there. So just make a general graph um, uh, that goes through those guys. So, so there's our graph right there, okay? So that's about the best we can do so far until we get into pre-calculus and we start learning more about uh, these graphs. But anyway, so, so there's our 1, 1, except it's over 1, up 3 from the new origin right there. Okay, all right, now if it was negative 3, you guys, I don't have one, but you do on your assignment. If it was negative 3, this would be down here in the blue um, new origin right there. And then this guy, the red guy, would be up here. Okay, it would be reflected over the over this um, uh, new axis right here, okay? All right, and then, um, okay, and then it says uh, state the other characteristics, okay? So the domain is is x, it, it'll never cross this line, which is x equals 1, okay? So the, the red graph goes through all of these points right here. It goes to the left forever, and it goes down, uh, goes to the right, all the way to x equals 1 right there. So it just can't be 1. And then the range is right here. It can't be y, can't be 2 right there. It goes down forever, and it goes up forever, but it'll never cross that guy right there. All right. Okay. So here's another one. Okay. So that two is our is our horizontal. Okay. It's in the denominator. That's that one over b. Remember, it's one over b. Okay. So this graph is appropriately set up for this stuff right here. Okay. So remember the uh, always graph the parent function. So the parent function kind of looks like. Oops. I forgot to take that out of there. Okay. So there's the parent function right there. Alrighty, um, that helps me uh, trace those graphs right there. So the parent function, sorry, my finger got a little bit slippery there on my little laptop screen right there. So it's over 1, up 1, and it goes towards the asymptote x equals 0 and y equals 0. Same over here. I did a little bit better on this one here. Okay, that's the parent graph. We just use this to help us guide. Okay, so our new origin is going to go to the left 3, down 1. Okay, so just pretend like this origin goes to the left 3, down 1, and I'm going to uh, draw that axis and draw that axis right there in blue. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, Okay, so now um, this is supposed to be 1 over b. This is, remember, the horizontal is the reciprocal, okay? So the 1 over b equals 2, so our horizontal stretch is uh, the reciprocal of 2, which is a half. So instead of going over 1, up 1, we're going to go over a half up 1 still, but from this origin right here. So we're going to go over a half up 1, and we're going to go over a half, down one, right there, down one, oops, sorry, over a half, 
down one is going to go right there, okay? So there's our, our points right there, and then these are our asthmatotes right here, and so it's going to go down through there and down through there, okay? All right, don't forget the cool sound effects right there, okay? All right, now, if this was um, a negative out in front, um, then this uh, blue guy would be just flipped up on top of this asthmatote right there. And and this, this blue guy right here would be flipped uh, below right there if it was negative right there. Okay, and if this was a half right there, if that 2 was, say, 0.5, then... Um, then 0.5 is the same as one half, so so our horizontal stretch would be two actually. So if this was 0.5, then we'd go over two up one instead of over one up one. Okay, so our horizontal movement is reflected by that guy, and it's always the reciprocal of that guy. Okay, so the domain, you guys, the domain of my blue graph right there is uh, x can't be this number, x can't be three. And Y can't be this number. Y can't be negative one. All right, you guys. Now, your directions in your book say all kinds of other groovy stuff. I want you to just graph them, you guys, and state the domain and range, and, and we'll pick it up from there. All right? Okay, take care.